So when I find out when God started to move, there was a pattern. We gotta find it out. Jesus said, I want to build the church. I want to build it so you're not afraid, or you're not intimidated by the very power of hell. The gates of hell can't even stop it. Because I told you two weeks ago that the devil lost the keys to hell. He doesn't even have the, these keys to his own place. Jesus, when he spoiled principalities and powers, made a show of them openly. He took the keys of hell and of death from him. You have to understand something about the devil. He's the prince and power of the air, but he doesn't have the keys to his own house. It's an amazing thing. When you start to understand what Jesus did, he took from him the keys of hell and of death. What? He took from him, not the keys of death, because death shouldn't have... Listen, we were at a funeral yesterday. There, listen. The grave can't hold you down. Because right. Jesus made a way to take the sting out of this whole thing. Right. He took from the devil the keys of hell. What? Hell. Yeah. And of death. Yeah. Maybe he just celebrated on Easter that he rose triumphant. But he took from him the keys of hell and of death. Yeah. So there's no fear of dying. But never mind that while you walk in this earth. You have to understand the devil doesn't have the keys to bind you up any longer. And Jesus said, I want to give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Can you imagine that? The power that he relegated to you and I. But the enemy is totally petrified of the church. Not the building. Not bank, but he's totally afraid that not we have an experience, not that we get some goosebumps, not that we fall into the, but we learn something, that we can understand who we are, that we become effective when we walk in an ungodly world. That's right. That's right. well, just another good sermon. No. We have to understand that revelation will reveal or make known to us a truth that we didn't know before. And show us our capability in doing things that we haven't done before. And God will pull out of us the greatness that he placed within us because he's already resident, because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's the most marvelous thing that God would come to live inside of you and I. Amen. I think he must not know what he's doing because he could get a better place to live than this. <laughs> Hawaii. But God chose to live within you and make himself known through you. So he says, I have to tell you something. It's starting out, I want to build my church. And I want to tell you about my church. The gates of hell are not going to stop you. The power of hell is not going to stop you. That's right. I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom. When I give you the keys to the kingdom, you're going to understand what I'm about to do. Because just prior to this, Jesus is talking. And he says, you know, they're talking about me. They're, they're saying all kinds of things about me. They're saying, I'm Elias, maybe, I'm Jeremiah, I'm one of the prophets. Who do you say I am? And Peter responds to this and says, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. He said, Wow. All these other guys, we have to understand what Acts 4 says about this guy. He's unlearned, he's uneducated. And he looks at him and he said, Thou art the Christ. And he looks at him and says, Thou art Peter or Petro. And I want you to understand what I'm going to do for you, sir. What you just revealed wasn't given by flesh and blood. It was a deposit that came from heaven to show you what you didn't learn in the school system. I want to show you how heaven thinks about it. I want to put in your lap the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Wow. I want to show you things that you'll be able to unlock things and lock things up. What you will do will be impossible. But I'm going to give you power over the one that's over there on the other side of the gates of hell. I want you to build the church this way. 
I want the foundation to be strong. You're going to build it upon me. He said, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock. And there's two things you can think there. If I had time, I'd go into a lot of it, and I will over the next while. But you need to understand something this morning. That when he says, Thou art the, you know, on this rock, he's not talking about Peter. There's only one foundational stone, that's Jesus Christ. Amen. He's saying, Thou art Peter, and upon the revelation that you just got is what the church will be built upon. What is the revelation? Jesus is the Christ. Amen. He's the rock. He's the sure foundation. Amen. He's the way where there's no way. Ha! Hallelujah. He is everything we have need of. He's the salvation that you need. He's your healer. He's your deliverer. Everything when you get Christ, you got it all. Hallelujah. You can be set free from anything that you are fighting. <laughs> now, I want you to understand. That's foundational for the church. But I want the church to take the next step of doing what I do. And you'll do not only what I did, but you'll do greater things. Oh, come on now. Amen. I want the church to start to do greater things than what I did. Amen. I don't want the church to be a fellowship where you come together on Sunday morning, you hear a message. I want you to roll out of the church and affect the world. That's right. Jesus never intended for you just to get fed from the church intended for it to be a source of going in and coming out of you. He intended for the church to be built on a foundation that the devil couldn't stop the church. Hallelujah. He made a way where we would be an embarrassment to the kingdom of darkness. So what I can do the keys to Surely as you get keys to get out in your parking lot and get in the car, he says, I want to give you keys to the kingdom of heaven. Awesome deal to me. Amen. Foundational. He said, Peter, you need to understand something. That when you come into things, you're going to understand. Well, you just have to roll over and let me leave there and go to Acts. What do they do when they come by? And they find a man, they're begging. What does Peter say? Silver and gold have I not, but such as I've got. What do you got, Peter? I got something that I didn't have before because I was a denier, but now I'm a confessor. I used to say, I don't know if I, I don't want to die, but now I'm not afraid of anything because even the gates of hell can't bind me up, can't stop me, and I'm willing to lay down my life, and I need to understand. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I've got, get out of there! And he lifts the guy up. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, his ankle bones and his legs start to come together. What happened? Well, he was given keys to build something. <laughs> See, keys are not something you get from General Motors before that vehicle goes through the line, go over the Toyota plant. They don't have the keys first. They build the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then when it rolls off the line, they've got some keys to start the ignition. This thing was planned before the foundation of the world. The lamb was slain. We think of the cross. The lamb was slain before the foundation of the world, not 2,000 years ago. God had a plan for the ages. And he said, there's something that's going to happen. And Paul says it in Colossians. I'm about to build a church, a body, that's absolutely unconquerable. It can't be conquered. There isn't a force. There's not a demon. There's not an angel. Romans 8 tells you, there's nothing that can separate you from the love of Christ. Wow. What a good deal. So Peter says, tell me more. He says, I want to tell you that he got these keys. You're about to do something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What an incredible thing that he would say to him. And the church is not... Plan B in the mind of God. When I was in Africa on one trip, I was there with the bowlers, Arne and Elsie Bowler. I'd been in, in uh, Nairobi. We'd had a major crusade in the church. We'd had lawyers and judges up to the meeting. We literally had thousands of people. We had an incredible time, and they wanted me to go on.